How's it going guys? Today I want to talk more about the new RPM skating feature in NHL 19. I've actually released a trailer talking more about this yesterday, so if you haven't watched it yet, I'll play it for you right now. It's a pretty short trailer. Uh, it's only about a minute long here, so it should give you a good idea of kind of what's to come. Um, obviously McDavid's here, they say kind of molded after him, I guess. RPM Tech opens up a ton of doors for us when it comes to new skating in our game. We didn't have to look any further than McDavid when it comes to sort of real And Ben Ross there is like a guy that kind of does everything gameplay wise. Going, really like what he does. I feel like I'm really, really moving. When our players were asking for something as big as the skating system to be overhauled and to have something new. And I think right here you can just kind of see how much more realistic it looks when it's just kind of like the silhouette of the player, not even in game yet. Same with like the crosser was there. It's being on your edge. It's you know using your inside edge to push off. It's tight turns. Turning on a dime on your outside edge. It's stopping and starting and being agile on your edges makes you pretty elusive and, and hard to check. That's really what the game is all about. Now. Right there at the end, they showed another five-man Sully. Uh, obviously, the first time you saw that was the original trailer, so you guys didn't know. Uh, Five-man team sellers are now in the game. So I'm just gonna mute it here uh, I know I talked over some of that, but basically um, RPM's games kind of molded after McDavid um, Just like the new fast pace of play I guess in NHL um, You're building acceleration faster quicker turns things like that And it really comes through in the game at least when I was playing it I'm not sure if they've actually like even adjusted the speed at all But I think it just feels faster because you kind of can see your player accelerating uh, Whereas before I think like the player accelerated and you didn't really see it happening with their legs, like the animation in game was more just kind of like they picked up speed and accelerated, where now you can actually see it happening in front of you, and I think that's a huge deal. And right there you guys can just see a quick turn where he like comes out of it, pushing hard or whatever, so I think the turns too, like before you have to do a wider turn, then come up, start accelerating, now it's like a quick turn and you're up. So I think like even without touching any of the, like, the actual, I don't know how it works, but like the speed of the game, just these new animations actually affect the speed, as you're now cutting away time on your quick turn, you're now accelerating faster up the ice like everything's just smoother more authentic and I think a faster game which is something I definitely wanted I think everyone always wants a faster game um, at least like there's some hardcore realistic people that don't but I think faster game style is definitely better uh, another clip here you can see I really like this one here no idea what the graphs are on the side but like you can just see how he's skating there I really like like how he's going blue line to blue line essentially and then right there moving like left to right uh, like you don't see it in our game tight turn again and then he's just pushing off with that skate. Um, everything I think is so much better because of this. Even like the cross over there I think looks amazing when he's moving side to side. Um, I think it like looks better and feels better which is pretty awesome. I know a lot of people wanted the Frostbite engine in this game but honestly if you had to decide between like Frostbite which affects the graphics not really as much the gameplay or this which affects the gameplay a lot but doesn't affect the graphics I feel like the gameplay is more important so uh, for anyone that wanted Frostbite I feel like you should be happier with this, honestly, as the game, it's not like the game looks bad, like maybe you could say FIFA looks better or whatever, but um, I think the new skating is definitely more important. And with this trailer, guys, I also included an article talking about it a bit more, uh, saying things how these smaller players are just naturally faster, so a lot of times they can just blow by the bigger defenders, but the bigger defenders are more powerful, so they're going to have like stronger turns in the corners, where basically maybe a smaller player gets nudged in the corner, they'll fall over or stumble a bit. Uh, the more powerful, the bigger player, I guess, can turn and actually kind of keep their balance better than the smaller player. So actually like using real life physics in this engine along with all the new skating mechanics, which I really like. I think it's a very important thing. Uh, it also mentions how endurance is now a much bigger factor. Or just like in previous games, if you're using the hustle button, uh, it'll be burning more energy, but uh, you now actually have options to kind of like glide through the neutral zone and just have a lot more of a natural feel than in previous games. Um, also, if you build up speed with your acceleration, uh, you can actually maintain that speed without even using the hustle button. And if you're someone that really likes the hustle button, also known as speed burst, by the way, in case you're wondering what I'm talking about. Um, honestly, this game, it's like, it's still there and it still works well, but it's like you don't need it as much in previous games. I feel like in previous games, if you're not holding the speed burst, like you're just way too slow. Whereas in this game, the natural speed just seems that much faster that even without the speed burst, you're still able to like kind of keep up with the pace of play. The speed burst is only in like special occasions where you really need that burst of speed to get on a breakaway, chase on a loose puck, things like that. And continuing on with the size factor, guys, I think I talked about this in another video, but if you missed that one, uh, basically the size of your player will actually affect how he skates. So a smaller, more elusive player like a Patrick Kane or a Johnny Goudreau is going to be like quicker steps to build acceleration um, and then to like to reach that top speed. And then again, like they're kind of more easier to push over where a bigger player like a Dustin Bufflin and Zidane Chara is bigger, longer strides, uh, especially to their slower strides. But if you think about it kind of like 
you know, Char is going to be like doing these big slides like this, and Goudreau is just kind of like these quick little strides. Uh, so I don't know if that actually affects their speed. I think the smaller players would be faster as they're getting like more push offs, more edge work. Um, but uh, it makes it more authentic for sure. And the big players too, with the bigger strides, obviously kind of makes up for not as many strides. So I think it's really cool just to see that realism in the game as you're playing. It's going to be a lot better to look at, I think. Uh, also too, they mentioned just how you can like select any size you want for your World of Child player. Uh, we should already know that. You can uh, choose your height, your weight, uh, choose your class, choose different traits. I think I've gone over all that and then obviously all the new customization options. And the last thing they mentioned in the article guys is how there's actually different skating animations for both with and without the puck. Uh, they actually showed a preview of this in the teaser trailer. Uh, the one guy was like skating with the one hand on his stick and they say how like depending on the motion will actually affect where your stick placement is. So I think that could be really cool. Could lead to like some cool redeflection goals maybe, just some other cool plays. It says how things like tight carve turns, quick stops, cycles, crossovers, etc. All affect where your player is going to hold his stick, how he's going to hold his stick. So um, obviously it all this is all to add to the more realism factor. And again, I think this is going to really change the gameplay. Because in NHL 14, if you don't have the puck, like he's kind of always like this, skating up with the puck. So now you might have to make your stick out like this. So if the puck's a little wide, if he's already got like one hand on the stick, he can actually make that reach as he's already kind of here, opposed to here. I'm doing a really bad like demonstration of this because I don't have like much gameplay footage to work off of, but hopefully I know what you mean. And if he's doing like a curve or whatever, he'd probably have the stick out to his side like this, opposed to still in front of him. And so in that case, maybe he like lets the pass come through and then like grabs it with the backhand. So everything's just kind of make it more realistic, everything more smooth. Uh, I think I mentioned before, all this should help with puck pickups as now your, your stick can actually be in all these different directions, make that reach to grab the puck or whatever, opposed to always being in this kind of like default spot which led to those weird circles those should be gone i didn't have that happen when i played the game those should be gone which is a huge bonus but that's pretty much it with rpm skating i don't want to like beat this thing to death i think we've talked about it so much but i mentioned before it's definitely my favorite uh new feature in nhl 19 uh, they showed us a lot of good footage here and hopefully uh, they show more footage from other things in nhl 19 we can talk about those in the future uh, other than that guys that's it for this one hopefully you enjoyed it if you did leave a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please do the hat have a nice day guys goodbye Oh,